YouTube is full of videos about good knives. It's full of videos about bad knives. It's high time that someone makes a video about weird knives. This is Three Weird Knives. And I'm your host, JJ Jakes. Let's get weird. Ah, time for another one of these. I'm going to start off with this little cosmic American rocket ship knife. Assisted opening. Here's a rocket for your pocket. <laughs> the cosmic American rocket ship knife features an assisted open stainless steel blade with a flipper. It's a liner lock and the cast metal rocket shaped handles have an all American paint job. Made in China. Well, I thought this was an interesting and weird piece for several reasons. Number one, um, why? <laughs> I mean, we've used capsules in the past. Um, you know, there, there was like the Gemini program, the Mercury program, the Apollo program, but then we just kind of stuck to shuttles after that, but whatever. Anyway, here's our all-American rocket for your pocket. Yeah, it's got the uh, Captain America shield. It is painted aluminum. Ooh, that's a spry little thing. Oh, we got a little oval shaped cutout here for some reason. <laughs> I mean, it's open assisted. Why would you need that? I don't know. And you got steel liners and it's held together with a single screw at the bottom of the rocket. Lift off. Kind of an interesting choice of the word cosmic when describing a space capsule. That's usually something that um, is more uh, ruski. Ah. Now here's an interesting knife. This is a West German army knife made by hmm, Bundeswehr. But I, I don't know. <laughs> Well, this particular knife caught my eye on eBay, but you can also buy them from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and it is a reproduction of a West German uh, knife that was uh, issued to soldiers there. So, yeah, during the Cold War, before the fall of the wall, and um, you can own a piece of that history. It's got a really neat symbol on it. It's kind of a goofy-looking bird flexing its muscles carrying some plants i probably should have looked up exactly what this symbol was <laughs> oh it's the symbol of the west german army i suppose and we've got these olive drab green scales with knurling and that works every soldier's got to be able to pop the cork off of a bottle of wine and we've got to oh god this is going to rip my fingernail right off Ah, very aggressive awl with, with a remnant of my fingernail in the thumb nick. And a pretty big main blade. So here you got your kind of classic drop point slip joint blade. Um, tool marks are very evident. You can actually feel them. <laughs> so this is not a very well made reproduction. Ah. Here we go. Now I can pronounce it. No, I can't. <laughs> Bundeswehr. Bundeswehr? The M1212. And there's that symbol again. Anyway, the reason why I, this is appearing on a weird knife show is because of the last tool, which is a bottle opener. With an interesting file. This is just kind of... Uh, I don't know what you would call it, gravelly patterned steel. It's pretty neat. I wonder how they did that, actually. Was that tooled or uh, molded in that way? It's kind of cool, and it works. It is a um, good file. And you've got this ominous-looking guard here. So if you take this guard off... You've got a very sharp and aggressive pole saw. 
So I think that's kind of what makes this knife weird is that the bottle opener, again, you can really see the tool marks on that. Uh, it's usually its own little stubby piece at one of the ends, but in this case, it's just a very long friggin' thing, which I guess it's, you know, gives you more leverage, but you gotta watch out for that saw. I mean, it's good they included a guard, but this is a very thin, bendable, droppable sheet of metal. I would imagine a lot of soldiers probably lost their guards. So having a whole bunch of really sharp teeth right next to the implement used to open a bottle of booze, that just kind of seems like a weird thing to me. <laughs> Getting the guard back on is also kind of a pain. It's not very easy to slip on. Oh, God. I... Almost cut myself. <laughs> it doesn't even do its job properly. How about that? It's actually easier if you just kind of slip it in like that. Anyway, well, that was dangerous. Yeah, a little piece of Cold War history. Now, I'm very excited for this last one. I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these for a long time. This comes to us from a company called Jinjong Lang Knives Tools. It's made in China. Um, I couldn't get one of these because, according to New Jersey law, apparently you're not supposed to be able to send slingshots through the mail. <laughs> because that's what this is. It is a slingshot slash knife. One of those combinations that just seems so perfect. Here's a diagram of um, everything that comes in the box. You get a knife uh, with a tool socket, uh, buttons, tool four, tool three, tool one. Where's tool two? Oh, two tool, tool two, two is here. Tool three, tool four, and tool one. Hmm, warning, patented product. Counterfeiting. <laughs> Wait, are they admitting that they're counterfeiting a patented product? Is that what that is? I actually haven't even opened this. So I figured let's do it together. <laughs> uh, what we have is a fake leather pouch that's actually not too bad. It's a little thin, but you know, it, it, it seems nice. There's a pouch here. One of the tools are in it, perhaps. How do I get it out? Well, let's just go to the main thing. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I wanted to order one of these from Amazon, and it just wouldn't let me. So I ordered it from somewhere else. <laughs> yep, yep. That's a slingshot. If there weren't so much snow on the ground outside, I might take it out there and see how good it is. So I guess there's a... There was this other tool here. There's a snap that does nothing. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Disassembly. Hmm. These, this, it's just, it's not instructions. It's just what's in the box. So I guess some of it's pre-assembled. We got that here. That here. That. I don't know. Somehow dig this one out. Maybe. Whew. Yeah. Okay. That 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 was that that was what's in there. No idea what it's for. So there's a button-looking thing right here, with um an arrow pointing in that direction. So I guess this is. Oh. Oh. Hey. Check that out. Okay. So that's what holds it on. It's just a. Uh, Okay, you push the button and it can go in or it could come out. Oh, okay. It's a glass breaker. <laughs> a detachable glass breaker. That's interesting. Okay, it actually goes in one way, not the other, because there's this little uh, notch here that corresponds to the post that the button actuates. Oh, well, that's cool. Let's have a look at the knife blade. Wow. It is not open assisted, but it actually, even though it didn't open completely, that was pretty good. 
I eh, just need a little break in it. Is that on bearings? It kind of feels like it's on bearings, and I think that is the case. Wow, that's really interesting. You got a neat little symbol up here by the thumb stud. Yeah, that's the symbol of um, ball bearings. Pretty cool. JL-17A. And the Jin Jun Lang symbol. And we got a bunch of weight reduction with these slots cut out. It is a hefty knife. Um, the liners and the scales are just thick sheets of steel. And it's got a Tanto blade. Liner lock seems to work just fine. There is no clearance for this knife. Check it out. <laughs> I went to look at the centering and I'm like, there's, it's just barely fitting in there. How about that? I hope it stays centered in that case. The pocket clip is very wide. That's interesting. <laughs> it's a survival tactical slingshot. Oh, I love it. This is perfect. Yeah, only thing I'd be afraid of with this glass breaker thing is if you put it in your pocket and yeah, somehow it gets loose and then you lose it. Not a big deal. This is not going to be breaking any glass. <laughs> Took a while and I had to use some unscrupulous means, but I finally have my Jin Jun Lang knives tools. Uh, counterfeiting uh, knife slingshot combo. Not really sure what this snap is about. Oh, you know what? I'll bet it so you can do this. Yeah, there you go.